Hello and welcome to Nevada Super Speedway. Yes, we're once again in Nevada as it's Reebok Truck Series action once again. Angel Navarro will start on the pole and it'll be Chris Washer alongside. Warren Cherry and Daniel Day, row two. With Savannah Cole and Michael Hegdahl, row three. William Duncan, Kyle Thomas, row four. Henry Nova and PJ Williams, row five. And I'll be honest, I'm not sure if you'll be able to even hear me saying anything. Because there won't be any game audio for this, at least this one race. Maybe even more throughout the rest of the season. Recap where other chasers start. Ian Dutta, outside row six. Stacy Dutta, outside row eight. Nileman inside row 10. Drivers, start! Oh. Okay, apparently at some point here my audio came back and I have no clue. I'm getting trolled by my speakers right now, if you can't tell. One moment they're out and the next moment they are absolutely fine. So, if you have a fix for that, please tell me. Um, as the field rolls off, looks like everyone gets rolling. So let's, we'll take a short commercial break. We'll bring you back for the action here from Nevada. Um, development here on the pace laps. Elijah Workman has had issues. And he was going to start in the 11th position. So, unfortunately, problems for truck 81. Let's take it down there and see if they will able to, are going to be able to get this truck uh, going. Should be just a flat tire, though. As the green flag flies, we're underway, but Elijah Workman is not. A left side tire as Daniel Day the Nevada native will take the top spot here on lap number one how about that the Nevada native in the land of Nevada is leading he grabbed the last race win can he grab two in a row he's not even in the chase it doesn't matter he's just going out there for bragging rights now, now something we saw in practice the faster car will be the guy who is in behind the race leader or whoever they're following. Mary Shelley is blown up. And it's a gearbox issue on truck 18. As it, that appears to have broken up the pack a little bit. As it's a two truck breakaway of Daniel Day and Henry Nova. And here comes Nova to the top spot. Now we were asking drivers how what track they would compare this to. And the, the more common one was a modified form of like Indianapolis. Whereas this track is just banked. It has two long speedways. As the caution flag has come out, Warren Cherry has gone around. It has two long straightaways. And then it's not just two turns where you have one, two, one and two and three and four. There are four separate turns. As here comes Dave Cole looking. Not going to get there. Henry Nova will lead underneath the caution flag. Three laps complete. And then in between one and two and three and four is a nice short little turn and wow what was up with Dave Cole getting into the 07 that was uncalled for I'm not quite sure what was going on between the O's, between Henry Nova and Dave Cole now, by the way I will say this there is no dot cam file on this track so that's why I'm I'm not gonna be able to change the camera view. They're all the same. 
So let's take a look back at what happened to Warren Cherry, though, to bring out the caution. And we are back. Here's what happened to Warren Cherry. P.J. Williams and Dylan Young are going to make contact here. And James Henry gets into the 34 as well. And Dylan Young and Warren Cherry just can't get off each other. And it will send the 57 up into the wall. And once he hits the wall, he just turns around. And looks like that is what brings out the caution. At least I can't see anything else that would have brought it out. So Henry Nova, though, led underneath the caution. We'll bring you back for the green flag here from Nevada Super Speedway. Wow. Just wow. We have just gotten the one to go here, and look at what has happened to the third-place truck. Savannah Cole, slow on the racetrack, and it looks as though the Country Time Lemonade Dodge is done for the day. Henry Nova does lead, and Dave Cole in second. Nileman now will take over third. Tanker, Daniel Day, James Shelley, Trevor Meacham, Kyle Thomas, Brandon Griffiths, and Seth Cole is your top ten. And what a huge development now as Savannah Cole's truck pretty much helpless there on the back straightaway. As here comes Henry Nova down to get the green flag. We have seven laps complete as they will take the green flag. Or they're coming down to complete lap seven. Green flag's back out. How about three sh Chevys in the top three? And my speakers just went out again. This is good. Like I said, I'm getting trolled by my speakers. Yay! Troll the low, the low, the low. So here we go down the back straightaway. Dave Cole goes to the inside of Ni Henry Nova. He's got Nick Nauman helping him. And the caution flag has come out already. Vitaly Nikolaev, second in the points, has gone around. Dave Cole coming through turn three into four. Daniel Day makes the move for second. It's going to be Dave Cole leading back to the stripe. Eight laps complete here at Nevada. And Savannah Cole still sits on pit road, so I guess that's the good news for her. Let's take you back to see what happened to Vitaly Nikolaev. And we are back. A lot of red and blue on this screen. If you haven't been able to tell yet, turn two is the trouble spot. Kyle Austin gets into Tom Gerard, sending him down into the 98 of Vitaly Nikolaev. Gerard hits the wall hard. Vitaly just clips it with the back end, so no real damage there for Nikolaev. He should be able to continue. And just look at this. All the chasers back here. How about, there's your points leader, P.J. Williams, coming in, 20-point lead. And so, with that, let's take you back to the green flag here from Nevada. And my speakers are back, by the way. Yay! And we are back. Savannah Cole had a camshaft failure on her car. She has since retired, as you can see, in the 41st position. Dave Cole is your leader. It is Daniel Day in second, Nick Nauman. Kyle Thomas, Brandon Griffiths, Chris Burden, Cosmo Bud, Henry Nova, Kyle Sosnowski, and Alex Tanker, your top 10. So two out of the contenders still up here in the top 10. James Shelley needed run in 11th. Came into this race 7th in points. Meacham, Cisco is in 13th. Then Seth Cole, Tom Shelley, Charles Sanford, Stacy Dudd in 17th. Bob Johansson, William Duncan, and Jake Cole, the top 20. Pace car will be pulling off momentarily. And when he does, the field will be under control of the Mark Martin Autographs Chevrolet, driven by Dave Cole. Daniel Day just waiting for a chance here to take two in a row. That Brad Keselowski race, the BK Racing, Brad Keselowski Racing Dodge. Green flags back out. We're underway once again. Daniel Day with a great restart right on the back bumper of the six. And there we go. Speakers went out again.
Like I said, I am getting trolled. That is the fifth time today and just the third time while I've entered in the game. I have no clue what I'm going to do. The caution flag has already come out, and it's a huge wreck. P.J. Williams! The points leader is involved. Drew Austin's in it. This is going to shake up the points a lot. Can Daniel Day make a move on Dave Cole? He's going to make a peek at it, but not going to be able to. Dave Cole leads under the caution flag. And a huge wreck. Ian Dutt has got damage. That might just, like, eliminate him from title contention. Tom Gerard, P.J. Williams. Henry Nova. Hard to tell who else has damage from this. I don't see anyone. How about James Shelley now in the top 10, though? Let's take a look back at what happened here to bring out the caution. And we're back, and once again, I have game audio. How about that? We're going to focus in on Henry Nova because watch this. He's going to come down into Alex Tanker. And this is where this wreck's going to start. But watch that 03 truck. As he's going to come back at the track, get into Nova. Nova's truck will gain speed as it comes into the and hits the wall. And apparently he's going to like slide down the track. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, and PJ Williams. That apparently was Ian Dutta that hit him. Gerard drills Williams. Wow. Let's watch that in full speed from the TV1 camera. Oh yeah, cuz did you Wow. And with that, we'll bring you back for the green flag. And we are back. We are hoping to have audio throughout the rest of this one as this will be the final restart of the day. Dave Cole leads since Daniel Day. Nick Nauman and I already blew my wish because we have lost the audio once again. Kyle Thomas, Chris Burden, Cosmo Bud, Kyle Snosky, Brandon Griffiths, James Shelley, and Jacob Sisko is your top ten. Big points implications here. As those retired are Ian Dutta, PJ Williams, Henry Nova, and Tom Gerard. Ian Dutta, a better finish than what he had the last round, 37th. And he will pick up points on PJ, but he's only going to be 110 behind him. And probably even farther back of the points leader. As we get set to get the green flag. Three laps to go at the stripe. The hit leaders hitting the gas. We're back to racing. Dave Cole, Daniel Day with a really good restart. Let's see if they can make it through turn one. They haven't been able to in the past couple restarts. They were able to, and Daniel Day makes the move to first the lead. He knows that if a caution comes out, the race will end. He wants that race lead. He wants to be in the driver's seat as they come down to two to go. Kyle Thomas is up here. So is Cosmo Bud. They both know if they can win this race, they are into the next round. Guaranteed. No questions asked. They don't have to worry about whether they finish in the next round. A huge race for those two as well. Daniel in the home state. And is it... The caution flag has come out! That is it! Daniel Day with a one car length advantage here as they come down the back straightaway. I don't think Kyle Thomas is going to have enough. 
It's going to be a great run for the 39, but it's not going to be enough for the American Ethanol Chevrolet. As coming to the caution flag and coming to the white flag, it looks as though Daniel Day is going to grab this one and grab two in a row. Kyle Thomas peeks to the inside, but it's not enough. Daniel Day wins at Nevada. And a nice congratulatory bump from Kyle Thomas. Oh, and Daniel goes to the pace car. Woo! A great win, two in a row for Daniel Day. And he came into this one now 21st in points because of the race win. A great run for that team. The Brad Keselowski team looking forward to next season. They're switching to the four bodies for this uh, for next season. They've already announced Chris Louvier, a rookie driver, will be driving for them. As Elijah Workman apparently was involved. Heavy damage to the front end of the 81 Grindboss Toyota. And coming through turn out of turn three and going through turn number four. <coughs> Daniel Day comes to the stripe. And he is a two time Reebok Truck Series winner. Oh, there's a lot of people involved. Look at this. Huge wreck. William Duncan, James Henry, Seth Cole, Charles Sanford, Wayne James, the defending the last last week's nationwide winner. Chris Burden, Tom Shelley, Bob Johansson, Jake Cole, Kyle Austin, Dustin Griffiths involved. And by doing that, he actually picks up a couple spots. Hagdahl might have been involved. Wait a minute, what's going on with Johnson? Oh, apparently he had to cross line. Let's take a look back now at what happened then. We're going to follow Jake Cole as no we're not. It was already going on about Pierre. Nick Nauman. Oh, that's how this one's going to start then. So you have Dave Cole, Nick Nauman, Chris Burden. Chris just comes up the track, gives Nauman absolutely no room to do anything. James Shelley's going to do a great job at missing this. Tom Shelley runs into the back of Alex Tinker. Oh, Sanford just comes in and drills him. Bob Johansson got drilled. Oh, Seth Cole! Oh, my God! Oh, my! A huge hit! Oh, whoops. I'm hitting the wrong keys. No. Up to 87. Okay. And he's going to hit the undercarriage of this. Oh my gosh. Taking on board with the 51. I got to see this. Oh, and that's where Workman's going to get his damage. Coming at ya! Considering where on that truck he would hit, I'm glad it was the undercarriage and not that that truck was on its um, wheels. That would have been a colossal hit for driver 87. But congrats to Daniel Day. He is your race winner. As we only have 21 cars officially finished on lead lap, your top 10 was Daniel Day, Kyle Thomas, 
Cosmo Bud, Kyle Sosnowski, Jacob Sisko, James Shelley, Alex Tinker, Trevor Meacham, Stacy Dutta, and Brandon Griffiths. Where did the rest of your chasers finish, though? Nick Nauman finished 17th, although he is, uh, he's not one of the ones I didn't really focus on anyway at this point. Sorry, he's already limited. Drew Austin, 18th. Vitaly Nikolaev, 20th. Dustin Griffiths, 21st. Um, let's see. Elijah, well, Elijah's already uh, eliminated as well. Interesting. These guys ended up finishing two laps down instead of, like, one. Um, Kyle Austin, 36th. Ian Dutta, 37th. PJ Williams, 38th. And Savannah was 41st. So a mixed day for the chases that were in contention. Obviously, we'd like to congratulate um, Daniel Day on his second win of the season. And this one coming at what would be theoretically a home track. I know he likes to call Las Vegas home. But I'm sure he'll take a win in Nevada all the, all the same. I'm Gordon Fantana. When this has been a crazy production of the Iron Roll Racing and Contained. We'll see you guys next time. Let's head down to Victory Lane. Daniel Day for the second week in a row. Coming down, doing something I'm sure he won't be getting tired of too soon. Victory celebration here on the front straightaway. There he goes. Okay. Well, I think I got a good name for this one. For this race. And with that, Daniel pulls it into victory circle. Or, well, at least takes it to the garage area, calls it a day. Let's roll out the point standings and see who is in the danger zone. Head into next week's race. An elimination race here for the Reebok Truck Series. See you guys next time.